Assalamu alaikum. Hope everyone is doing great. So I'm back with another Ramadan recipe or a tea time snack. Today I'm going to make some daisy puff. I'm going to make some puff with the puff pastries but the savory version. Three types of puffs. Keep watching. So here I begin with the first puff which is the egg puffs which is the classic daisy puff. So to the pan I'm adding some oil and to the oil I'm adding two medium sized roughly chopped onions. Saute them for a while with some salt. After sorting for around 5 minutes, while the onion is a little transparent, you're gonna add in the spices. I'm adding here half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, and half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Half part of the egg filling is done. Now we're moving on to the next filling, that is the chicken filling. For this, to the pan I'm adding in some oil and I'm adding one medium sized onions. Add some salt and salt them for a while. Then add in ginger garlic paste. Salt them for around two minutes and then add in the spices. Here I'm adding quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, half teaspoon of pepper powder, half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix them really well. Then to this add in the shredded chicken, saute them for a while and then finish it off with some coriander leaves. So here I'm using the ready-made puff pastry sheets which is available in almost all the supermarkets. So I've spread them evenly and then to this I'm adding 1 teaspoon of onion filling which we have made earlier. So about the filling I'm adding the boiled egg. Here I'm using half an egg for each and then now I am gonna fold them. This is how I fold them. I join both the ends together and the other two ends together. It's easy to stick each other but if you find it difficult you can even stick this with the flour mixture which we usually make for samosas or spring rolls. Similarly doing the other ones. Now giving them an egg wash. 
and then this goes into the preheated oven for around 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Now the brand of the puff pastry which I'm using here is Walima. I even prefer Sanbula but not any other brands because what I have usually found is that in most of the puff pastries the puff sheet they stick with each other. It is hard for us to take it off but Walima and Sanbula is just perfect. Moving on to the chicken puffs adding in the chicken filling and then now I'm gonna fold it in a different way. Joining both the ends together to make a triangle, just like this. Moving on to the last and final filling. It is the chicken liver filling. So if you doesn't like chicken liver, you can substitute it with some minced beef, which is really great, which I've already done in my last video. If you haven't seen that, the link is up here. Now to the onion, the sorted onion. I'm adding in three to four green chilies and then saute it for a while. Add half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and then again saute them for a while. And then to this we are gonna add in the spices. Half to one teaspoon of garam masala powder, half teaspoon of pepper powder, quarter teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix them really well. To this add in the cleaned raw chicken liver and cook them for a while. The chicken liver doesn't need a lot of cooking time, hardly 10 minutes and then finish it off with some curry leaves and some coriander leaves. By this time, the egg puff is out from the oven. Third puff pastry is also done. This is how I fold them. I seal with a fork. Now the second batch is ready to go into the oven. So here are the all three savory versions of the puff pastry. The chicken liver, egg and chicken. So I hope that you all have liked watching the video. If you liked it, do let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so much and see you soon with another Ramadan video. Bye-bye.